Earlier today, the seats at the Edinburgh Conference Center at Renaissance were filled with people ready to meet the candidates for the upcoming elections in person and introduce themselves as they debated local issues affecting the government and the Hidalgo County community. I think that we need to legalize marijuana. That was just one of several controversial stances taken by Democrat Jane Cross at Monday's campaign 2012 political forum. I've never seen anybody that was high <laughs> speed into anything. So, I mean, they usually just sit there on their couch and they don't bother anybody. They're not very productive, but they don't hurt anybody. Cross, running for U.S. House District 15, stood her ground in Edinburgh, and her comments stirred one of the liveliest debates of the night. I really think the DREAM Act has its merits. I think we shouldn't give a blanket citizenship to everyone, but the kids that came here and have gone through our schools and want to go to our colleges, I think the DREAM Act is for them. Cross wasn't the only candidate making bold statements. Republican Rebecca Cervera came out swinging during her opening remarks. It's no secret that we are not as safe as we used to be and that we are not as safe as the current administration wants to pretend we are. My business is situated on the far border and I see the insecurity that supposedly is not taking place every day. Incumbent Ruben Hinojosa defended the Obama administration and the DREAM Act while staking his claim for re-election. We have one and a half million people, and that has increased the federal funding, the state funding that is coming to this area, and that's why our schools have grown so much, our colleges have grown so much, and it is a sign that what we need is a comprehensive immigration reform that will get them documented so that they can add to the prosperity of our country. In response, the other candidates for U.S. District 15 made their case for new representation in Washington. And I really think the VA needs to have some accountability at top, which Congress, by the way, is the overseer of that accountability, and yet I believe Congress has failed to do that. If you're talking about Obamacare, I believe that's going to help bankrupt this country and cause more people to go uh, unemployed. I am a big supporter of the DREAM Act. It's an opportunity for these children who have been educated in, the, their con in our country and are here by no fault of their own. Also taking the stage, the Democratic candidates vying for State House District 40, the seat currently held by Republican Adam Peña, who isn't running for re-election. All four agree Texas needs more focus on education. At first, what I would do with that rainy day fund is definitely I would invest in education. To reinvest it back into the programs ever cut, uh, education being the priority. Education is definitely the step that we need to take. We need to invest in our educational system since that is where our future lies. Definitely education. As a member of the Edinburgh School Board, I saw exactly where the education monies hit us in our district. The mayor of Edinburgh says that issue should be upmost in voters' minds. We've got a responsibility to at some point lead and sometime follow, and we can lead by voting. Uh, that's our responsibility. We've got to ask the right questions, and after people are elected, see that they follow through on what they've said. To let your voice be heard, make sure you head to the polls May 29th for the Texas State Primary Voting. Now, another political forum will take place this Wednesday at the Marine Military Academy with the goal of not only attracting the Cameron County voter, but the surrounding communities. It will take place this Wednesday live at Action 4 News at 5 and 6. Of course, for any more information, you can always log on to valleycentral.com. At the Edinburgh Conference Center at Renaissance, I'm Astrid Martinez, Action 4 News.